Joining us is the president of NMA, Dr. Francis Faduile. Pleasure to have you on the news. Thank you. It's my pleasure being here. Good morning. Good morning. Should this be the best way to handle the situation, knowing fully well that the doctors and medical practitioners are the core warriors in the forefront of the fight against COVID-19? Thank you. I want to say that it is the minimum that is expected for every security officer in this country to know that health workers are the ones that are facing the invisible war that we are uh, fighting against COVID-19 in this country. And it is very disheartening that we have a directive that the same set of health workers as well as other frontline staff are those that you are intimidating, harassing, tormenting, despite facing all the stress of treating or managing this COVID-19 positive patient. This particular one is becoming one too many. If you remembered, the doctors and other health workers were humiliated at the start of uh, the lockdown by the same police when they asked them that their identity cards are not enough, that they must be carrying their rosters everywhere. There was an uproar until the commissioner of police came out and resigned that decision and apologized. Some doctors within this country has been humiliated. Some are made to sit on the bare floor while returning from their duty post after late hour. May, may I ask, is it then the best option, considering the emergency that we have now, to take the drastic step of issuing a sit-at-home order, knowing that their services are very imperative at this time? The doctors were not allowed to go to work two days ago. Many of them were returned back. Those who were returned back from the hospital were denied access back to their home. And the doctors also have rights to protect the right of their members. They are also human beings. They needed all the protections. They needed all the assurance from the public as well as the security officers that while, pre while pursuing their job, they can be properly protected. Until we get that, it might be difficult for you to continue to ask them to do the work without the necessary uh, presentations. For example, we have many hospitals that do not have the personal protective equipment. If we have all health workers on grant and this equipment is not, on, is not available, there is nothing anybody could do. So there are some, consider, there are some con condition precedents that should be met for them to be able to effectively work. And it is on this that they are asking the government, as well as the security officers, to, uh, to bring out a paper in black and white to state how they want the curfew or the lockdown to be processed within the state. All right, let me ask you this question. Um, do you expect full compliance from doctors who uh, a lot of persons will say, aside the ethics of their profession, will be very concerned about the welfare of their patients? The ethics of the profession, the same way he asks for the uh, protection and welfare of the patient, the same way he asks for the protection and welfare of the doctors. There is no way you can keep one without taking care of the other. And in the treatment of COVID-19, one thing that has been consistently stated is that 
the doctors will protect themselves so that they can see more patients. By the time you expose doctors and nurses to the virus of all these infections, and they cannot take care of the next available patient, it's still doomed. So we must protect the health workers so that they can treat more patients. All right, before we let you uh, go, because you know we're, you're very busy, um, could you tell us in immediate terms what the government, or rather um, the police in this instance, must do to release, I mean, to make this um, order, this sit at home order to be rescinded? I think it's a fair forward thing. The, go the police, the hierarchy of the police came out and made a law that is at variance what, with the uh, direction given by the Commander-in-Chief, President Muhammad Buhari. And now they came back and said they are not following that again, that essential workers can be exempted. And what the NMA in Lagos State has requested is for them to put it in black and white so that we can hold them against their word at any given time. Once they do this, I am very positive that the Nigerian Medical Association in Lagos State will reconsider its position. Thank you very much for joining us on the news.